we started out when we were talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And uh, anybody ever stole anything on credit? Anybody ever stole anything on credit and got a down payment? And then you're waiting for your payment to come in, and uh, if you realize it or not, your, your down payment, you're going to spend it, and it's going to be gone. Well, I'm going to tell you what our down payment is uh, before I tear that off. What, what our down payment is, when we accepted Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior, He gave us the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And He's always with us. We need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My down payment will never run down. Uh, Glenn said something about looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Here's what, how important speaking in tongues is, because I can't understand what I'm saying. My down payment will never run out when I continually speak in tongues. I will never run out of funds. I will never run out of what I need. And that was just strong this week. The Lord spoke that to me. But when you were born again, you got a down payment. If you want that down payment to continue to sustain you while you're on this earth until you look up and your redemption draweth nigh, pray in the Spirit. That is so important. Lord spoke to that to me this week as we were here. But what's going on in Thomas? Uh, he said something to me about sharing something last night. And I said, Lord, I, I want you to, what, 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 what do you want me to speak? And he said, tell him we're preparing for rain. Amen. Right. We're in a building project right now. And uh, I, I'm, we, we, we stepped out in faith last night. But the Lord said, tell him you're preparing for rain. The Lord never told me to give anything. But I had, a, I had a group of men from my church that the Lord spoke to. We're not, we're, we're going to pay, we're going to do our building debt free. Amen. And we're not quite where we need to be to finish it out. We sowed seed last night and our money's there. Because that's, that's, that's how we're going to continue to do what we're doing is when we sow seed, He'll always provide. We've had money come into this project from people that don't even come to church. Four months ago, I'm standing in front of a shop that the Lord blessed us with. We finally got a shop where we don't have to use uh, washer fluid to keep our stuff from freezing up in the wintertime when we're working. I'm standing out there and the pickup pulls up. And there, I knew who it was. He said, come crawl into my pickup. Started talking to me and he said, I notice what's going on. He said, I want to be a part of that. Sat right there and wrote me out a check. He never darkened the doors of our church and handed me a check. I'm telling you, God's using people to sow seed into the kingdom, and we just got to be there and be ready to do that. That's, that's where it is. And I've, I've had more than once people call me and say, I want to give into that. Writes us a check and gives us into that. But we, we, we prepared for rain, and then that's not, I'm just going to look at you. That's not, we're not done. Dave was out there a couple of weeks ago on the north side of our building. We've got a huge building that we're putting. As soon as that one's done, our sanctuary is not going to be big enough. And it ain't us, it's God. We're fixing to go to the other side and we're going to build a big auditorium so we can hold all the people that God's going to bring into our, into our place. That's where we're going. We're preparing for rain. So I want to encourage you. Don't let your down payment run out. You, speak, you, you continue to, to have your down payment as everything that you need. Pray the Spirit. Amen. That's, our, that's our key. Glenn, that's how we're not going to be afraid. We're, we're going to be close to the Father. That's where it is. But Ed Charlie, you touched on something. Are we recording? Because I'm fixing to share something that you're going to look at me and I cannot believe that he said that. I'm going to cuss today because I'm going to show you something that's so important to me today. We're blessed with kids on Wednesday nights. And I believe we've lost a couple generations of kids because we've always looked at them that they're, they're still growing up and they, they're, not good, they're not big enough. And you touched on it yesterday. I got to call this. It's been... Probably six, eight months ago from the funeral home over in Clinton, about 25 miles from where we were. And, and of course, I know the funeral director there very well. And he called me and he, he said, hey, there's a family here that's asked if you do a service. There was a mother and daughter that got killed. Me and my heart sunk. She was 16 or 17 years old. I didn't want to do it. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I, I did not want to do that service. But the Lord said they asked you, so you go do it. So I got information from the family, and on a Wednesday night we were at church, and I left early to go speak with the family. I pulled up to their house, and my heart, my heart was just heavy, and I pulled up to the house, crawled out of my vehicle. The very first word from that family to me, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I don't apologize, this is what was said to me. Oh, f it's Jerry Yoder. And I just went, 
I, I just, <laughs> I was empty. So I continued to visit with this gentleman, and, and I got done visiting when, with him, went over to the father, the father, you better do a blankety blank, 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 good job, because I, I uh, recommended you, and you better do a good job. <laughs> and I said, God, why am I here? Why am I here? I walk inside, and I've seen civilness. Sat down, we went over what we were going to do and all that we were going to share and, and did all of that. And, and I said, God, I, Holy Spirit, I need you. I, I don't even know what to say during that service. Got to the service and they told me, said, uh, the mom wasn't religious and she didn't want any religious songs and all of that. And two caskets are sitting there, the mother and daughter are there. Got through the service, got through everything. And they asked me, the funeral director said, I want you to stand in between the casket as we let the people out. And there was a whole lot more that went on than that I would have even shared with you. But uh, the two caskets were too full. I had to stand on, on the back end of the casket. They opened the mother's casket and they're coming over here and they opened the daughter's casket. My heart broke. Yeah. Because it told me that she was coming, that, that, that girl came to our church for a couple of years, huh? You used to pick her up on the van. I didn't remember the girl. They opened the casket, and then I remembered the picture of her. My heart crumbled. The Lord spoke to me right then. No child is ever too young to receive Jesus. Amen. No child is ever too young to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And you touched on that yesterday. I'm telling you, God's doing a revival in our kids. We have a 10-year-old girl that's in our church here a while back came to me and said, Pastor, can I close, close service today? Stood up here on the side, never had a mic in her hand. Our church was full. That prayer that came out of that girl was absolutely incredible and astonishing. Didn't have a microphone. Every ear in that church heard exactly what she was saying. Here's what I'm saying, guys. It's time we sow into our children. It's time that we don't look at our kids that they're too young. The Spirit of the Lord is going to move through our kids in the name of Jesus. Let's allow God to do something big. Went to Cowboy Church the other night, and this same little girl, she said, uh, I can't be there tonight. She said, uh, if there's any prayer requests, please, please write them down and let me know, because I know I have the gift of healing on my life. Never grew up in a church. Started coming to our church. God's up to something big. He's up to something big.